Can you drive a tank over a frozen river? So I had Stefan from Sweden ask me this question. In the winter, the Dnieper River freezes over, usually after a 20-day spell of sub-zero temperature. Who would benefit from this? Russia or Ukraine? How thick does the ice have to get to carry tanks? So to start, the Dnieper River is the largest river in Ukraine. It's the fourth largest river in Europe. It essentially bisects Ukraine, splitting it into east and west, and flows all the way to the Black Sea. So essentially, the question here is, can a river like the Dnieper River freeze over enough to support the weight of tanks and trucks to be used as an ice bridge during an invasion? So that's a really good question. It led me down this long rabbit hole that included watching the Liam Neeson movie, The Ice Road on Netflix, which I do not advise you to do. But there is a precedent for taking heavy loads on ice. I mean, look at Antarctica. We can run heavy equipment on ice in Antarctica all the time. Heck, the Royal Australian Air Force lands C-17s in Antarctica, and they weigh around 28,000 pounds or 127,000 kilograms. So clearly, this is an issue of thickness. Now, the Antarctic ice sheet is several kilometers thick, so I think we're good. But who else runs heavy equipment on ice? Well, if you've ever seen the show Ice Road Truckers on the History Channel, yeah, people drive 70-ton rigs on ice. Now, the number I found for the minimum safe thickness for driving a big rig truck over ice is three feet, so roughly one meter. And then I kept digging, and I found this chart from the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers. Now, all of this is in inches, so just multiply whatever I say by 2.5 for small values of length when you want centimeters. Two inch ice can support a person on foot, seven inches can support a car, 10 inches can support an eight ton truck. Now, we can actually plug this into a formula of H equals four to the square root of P, where P is the load in tons. Don't be afraid of this formula, I'm gonna break it down in a couple of minutes. Now this formula here would be pretty important if you're planning an invasion because you want to get troops and tanks across the ice as fast as possible. Now a T-72, which is the standard Russian battle tank, weighs about 41 tons. After fuel and ammo, it's probably getting up to around 45, 46 tons. So if we use the formula, we're looking at 27.4 inches or 69.5 centimeters. So in order to support a tank, the ice has to be 27 inches or 69 centimeters thick. Okay, now here's the other question. Does the Dnieper River freeze 27 inches in thickness? And that answer is a little tougher to get. Rivers move, so it's not like even the ice road in Canada. Now, NASA does have some data from 2012 where ice built up on the Kiev Reservoir that could have resulted in the failure of a dam uh, on the Dnieper hydroelectric station. So in that case, a couple of years ago, roughly 10 years ago, the ice buildup was about 40 centimeters or 16 inches. Then the max it'll be able to support is 16 tons. It'll support a BMP. It'll support a truck. It'll support some kind of equivalent infantry fighting vehicle, but it's not going to support a 46 ton tank. So would a frozen river make a difference in Ukraine? I don't think so, because you really wouldn't be able to get your heavy armor across, and once the spring thaw comes, you're going to have troops on the other side of the river and no bridges to support them. You can't cheat physics. Hey, if you like the Patriot Missile Live Love Launch shirt that I'm wearing, head on over to Bunker Brandy and get yourself one. It all goes to support the channel. It makes a great Christmas gift for someone you love, and if uh, you don't love somebody, I have a shirt that shows my rear end, and you can give that to them. Thank you for watching. Yo, 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 what up? It's me, MCI TV. You like Ryan Macbeth? We got crazy Ryan Macbeth shirts, yo. Hi, Mars. Patriot. Toatas. That's like a son to me. We even have Spall Street Bets and whatever the heck this is. So come on down to Bunker Branding or I'll get Team Yankee on you.